It's crazy to think that in the span of just nine seasons, Brad Keselowski went from just another field filler to Cup Series champion. When Keselowski came into the sport, he was already known as the son of former Truck Series regular Bob Keselowski, but he set out to make a name for himself. The early years of his career were very humbling. He began driving for his father's team in 2004, making eight starts with an average finish of 25.5. The following season, they decided to take a crack at the Truck Series full-time, and his 2005 stats are this. Zero wins, zero top fives, one top ten, and an average finish of 23.2, and finished 21st in the standings. In late 2006, he decided to venture out into the NASCAR Busch Series, making some select starts for Keith Coleman. Those seven starts were absolutely horrendous, as he only scored an average finish of 34.9 and had three DNFs along with one DNQ. However, Brad Keselowski's first big break in NASCAR would take place after Ted Musgrave's suspension in the Truck Series. Musgrave was suspended for having an in-race scuffle at Milwaukee, and Jermaine Racing tapped Brad Keselowski to be his replacement the following week at Memphis. He would shock everyone by winning the pole for the race, and not only that, he was actually competing for the win as well. Unfortunately, he got dumped by Travis Quaffle while leading with 10 laps to go and ended up finishing 16th. In the end, his finish didn't matter because his performance was good enough to catch the attention of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Junior Motorsports was struggling and they were looking to replace their former driver Shane Huffman. They were looking for a young prospect to develop just in time before their Hendrick alliance began the following season. Initially, he was only supposed to do three races, but he did so well in those three that he ended up finishing out the rest of the season. If you ask most fans about his 2007 Bush Series campaign, the only thing they'll probably bring up is his terrible wreck at Fontana. Despite going through some growing pains, he was able to put together a solid end to the 2007 season and ended up earning the ride full-time in 2008. This will go down as one of the greatest decisions Dale Earnhardt Jr. ever made as a car owner. What soon followed was one of the greatest driver team duos the Nationwide Series has ever seen. What fans were able to witness in these two seasons was the elevation of Junior Motorsports and Brad Keselowski. And you gotta be proud for a kid like this, doing so well, Andy. What do you think Dale Earnhardt Jr. is thinking sitting uh, up in Pocono watching this young man after how the frustrations flowed back in uh, Las Vegas when he came so close but didn't quite get there? He's feeling pretty smart right now for picking this kid to drive this race car because he's done an outstanding job all year long. He really has. I remember when he said, I'm going to hire Brad Keselowski. I'm like, who? I haven't heard of this kid. You've but heard he of him now. Something. You heard of him now, that's for sure. Two laps to hey, go. Flag, babe. Give me one more. White flag is waiting. Just like Dale Jr., this young man is a second-generation driver who followed in the footsteps of his famous father, Bob Keselowski, who was also a stock car champ. Bob and Arca, of course, Dale Sr. in NASCAR Sprint Cup. Final lap for the youngster from Michigan. Great battle for second spot there. Boyer trying to hold off David Strimmey, but the story up front is the 88 car coming out of turn four. First time winner in 2008, Brad Keselowski. Two laps to go. Only four times in the history of nationwide racing, 52 races has this race been won from the starting spot outside the top 20. Folks, that 88 car tonight started in 37th position. Wide flag for Brad Keselowski. And he will drive it into the corner. Keselowski will come down and take the checkered flag as a two-time winner in 2008. What a job for the 24-year-old from Michigan. You guys are awesome. The 88 car burning rubber up in victory lane. He burned it all night long on the high banks in Bristol, Tennessee. All right, let's see if the monster's going to bite somebody else here in the final three laps. Can Kyle Busch hold him off? Here we go. Gano gets Gano. a great start. Yeah, he was ready for Kyle Busch right there. He's he against him right move. there. Oh. Got him. Here goes Keselowski for the lead. The contact, Bush across the track, but he also gave away the lead. How about that? Oh, trouble back there. How Bush looked like he might have a tire down. He's got something wrong now. Push it and shove it. It'll be white flag next time by for Brad Keselowski. Battle oh, second did, continues. We did not expect this kind of finish nice right here, boys. Second place. Here goes Boyer on the inside of Logano. Can he get him less than half a lap to go? 
We told you strange things happen at the Monster Mile, and what a finish here at Dover, Delaware. Brad Keselowski comes out of four and will pick up his first win in 2009. Put yourself in position, man. You guys did it for me. I appreciate it. Holy cow. Oh, man. Man, that was a finish. And another disappointment for Kyle Busch. I, what a know, great huh? day for Brad Keselowski. Well, they got nine laps to go. They got to get it done right now. And you see the 88 car getting his nose underneath Kyle Busch. It's not over. It's a drag race. Oh, at the stripe. Who has the lead this time by? Keselowski officially is given credit for the lead. And he clears him heading through two. So all of a sudden, Keselowski Chevrolet comes to life. Boy, that missing happy hour last night might not have been a bad thing for these guys. I tell you, that's just what he needed to get this thing out in front. And now he can guard the top of the track, guard the bottom lane. He could drive with his mirror right now for the next eight laps. White flag is out. Listen to the crowd. Seven eighths of a mile to traverse for the 88 of Brad Keselowski. And who says you need practice? We're talking about practice, boys. <laughs> Down the back straightaway, the last time into turn number three with plenty of air to spare. The 88 of Brad Keselowski with his second win and an inaugural win at Iowa. What a big win that was. Boy, what a celebration right now in front of this packed house. He might be running out of gas in that thing, but he don't care. He's going to burn it down. He don't care the motor's sealed. Uh, We're not using this thing again, baby. Man, whenever you win an inaugural race anywhere, it's big. And this is a real big one. Not one person has left this house. Not one person is trying to get on the highway. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, really big time loose. loose. And holds the lead. And there's, look at Keselowski. He's got that one man on the bottom side. This is the spot he'd be looking for here to be three wide. Look at Vickers get down. Well, check out Keselowski, guys. Coming to the high He's side. This high white side. Flag, flag. Right here. Keselowski's right where he needs to be. We're three wide in this Whoa. turn. Whoa. Holy cow. Vickers Look can't hold on right way. there. Vickers Look at Keselowski's going to have the advantage off the of turn two. It's all about momentum. And 32 can't hold on to it right now. It's just too loose. Who's Kyle Busch going to fall in uh -oh. behind here? 32 is going to be a lot looser. 18 is going to the high side. I'm not sure he's got enough of a run. Look at the 32 with the power there. I cannot. I don't believe think he can hang on. He's once again. It looks like Keselowski is going to get the momentum off four, guys. And that's going to win him the race right there. It's a drag race down the line. And Brad Keselowski is going to win it. Two tires. <laughs> How about that? How about that move? Wow. All right, boys. <laughs> two tires. They did it. All right, I owe you 100, buddy. <laughs> two what tires. a great job. Hey, wait a minute. I said 2-2, two, two, didn't I? Well, you can't change your mind. Okay, I'll change your mind. Job, Brad. I told you you could do it, man. All what a finish, guys. That was is out. absolutely amazing. Wow. What a job. Awesome job dude. That's how you do it. That's exactly oh, how you yeah. do it. You do it at home. At home. That's, just, that's the key. He said he never had much success around his home. He wanted to do good in front of family and friends. Can't do any better than that. Brad slows him down and then gets on the gas, and he's first across the line. But Kyle is right there with him. But again... Going into one, it's a lot closer this time than the last. Leffler right behind, but again, Keselowski clears by turn two. Bring it around. I do believe, I don't believe he has anything for him unless Kyle, unless he misses his marks and gets the thing real loose. He's trying on the inside. This time by, the white flag will be out. Brad Keselowski, three quarters of a mile away from 75,000 big ones. Kyle Busch right behind him. Down the back stretch for the last time. Does Kyle have anything left that he can get underneath? They go into three. Nobody else is going to contend for this. Hang on. Coming through four. It is. Oh, and he turns it. He gets into him, but boy, he recovers, and Keselowski wins. Unbelievable. He held on to that thing. That 75 was almost going out of drain right then, but he held on to it. What a finish. $75,000 bonus from Nationwide for Brad Keselowski as he picks up his sixth win in his 101st start, but none bigger than this. His 2008 stats are this. Two wins, 11 top fives, 20 top tens, and an average finish of 10.9. In 2009, he scored four wins, 22 top fives, 28 top tens, and an average finish of seven, and would place third in the standings in both seasons. After his stint with Junior Motorsports, he would move up to the Cup Series driving for Roger Penske. And in just his third season, he would win his first career Cup Series championship. Brad Keselowski is a true rags to riches story.
And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.